Hey Michelle, Daniel, and John, this is Devin from SEO Dallas, Texas, and in this quick video I'm showing you three easy ways you can beat your competition online starting today. You're probably asking why I'm making this video. I just found out a little while ago there's a lot of business owners that are spending all their time running their business and they don't have time to learn how the internet can work for them and bring them more business. The only thing stopping them from hiring marketing agencies is they don't know who is an expert and who is not an expert. So I found that by making these attack plans, giving them away for free, a lot of business owners end up still raising their hand and saying, Devin, I like you, do this for me. So if after all this you want me to take care of this for you or just have some questions, give me a call and we can chat. If you want to do this yourself, that's okay too. This is just free education. Three things I'm going to go over with you today are going to be content, backlinks, and citations. So to start, content is anything on the front page of your website that Google can see, that your customers can see. It's all the text on the front page of your website as well as all the text behind the images as well as whatever the images are saved as. And to be considered authoritative in Google's eyes these days, you're going to want to have 1,500 to 2,000 words on your front page stuffed with keywords that have to do with your industry. So looking at your front page, this is a really good looking front page. I love that little decal you have right here that moves. It's really great looking. As far as your content goes, you're sitting probably around 500 to 600 words. You're going to want to boost that up to about 1,500 words. You look at your competitors, you got flow plumbing. You got quite a bit, probably closer to 800 to 1,000 words. Again, 1,500 will blow them out of the water. And then more is plumbing. Again, 1,500 words will blow them out of the water. Now, content is king, but it's not everything. The next missing piece of the puzzle is backlinks. That's when another website points back at you with a link that could possibly drive traffic to your site. And this works because Google's kind of like a popularity contest. However, you get a much higher effect from uh, plumbing companies pointing at you than you do from other companies pointing at you. So not all backlinks are created equal. Um, so just to show you, I have a tool that I look at the back of websites with. It's called Arefs. Costs about a thousand bucks a month depending on what plan you use, but it does give you really valuable data on the back end of websites. So it says you have 20 websites pointing back at you with 139 web backlinks coming from those websites, and it says over the past three months your rank has been pretty steady, and then it has dropped off a cliff. All right. If you check out Flow Plumbing, they have 59 websites pointing at them with 762 backlinks, which leads to a lot more traffic. And then same thing with Moore's Plumbing, they have 33 websites pointing at them with 109 backlinks. So again, what I recommend for you, I would recommend adding on at least another 40 to 45, if not 50 websites pointing back at you. Make sure they're within the plumbing niche so that Google doesn't penalize you and they actually give you more power for, for those links and you'll be good to go. Last thing you want to look at is citations. When someone needs a plumber now, they're going to click on the first guy that seems trustworthy. A lot of people don't even see this area because they don't have ad, they have ad blockers, but there's also a large group of people who just skip them because they've had bad experiences with ads in the past. So the best spot to be is right here in the Google My Business, the local map pack ranking. And again, here you want to have more citations than your competitors. If you want to know what a citation is, that's when um, you put your name, your address, and your phone number in different directories across the web. If you want to know what a directory is, it's just a website that allows businesses to list their information there. So you're talking about like Yelp, EX, Facebook, Yellow Pages, White Pages. Um, good strategy to take to take this spot is to find out what citations and what directories your competitors are listed in. Go list yourself in those same exact directories and then add a bunch on top, like 20 to 30 percent. That way they couldn't catch up to you. It'll take them some time and you can continually add on monthly citations and hold that number one spot. So that is all I got for you guys. I hope you guys found this really informative. Three things I went over today again were content. You want to get your website up to about 1,500 to 2,000 words. Backlinks, you're going to want to make sure you get at least I'd say roughly about 50 websites pointing back at you. As long as they're within the plumbing niche, you'll be good. And then um, citations. Get your citations up by go finding out what your competitors are as far as directories are listed in. Go list yourself in those same directories and add a bunch on top. If you want to do this yourself, that's totally okay. Uh, I can even send you a bi-weekly screenshot of your ARF's profile so you don't have to spend money on the, the program. But if you want me to do this for you, check out our website. It's seodallastexas.com. Here's our phone number, and if you're on mobile, you can just click this number right here. It'll go right to our voice or go right to our phones. It's 214-441-6737. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys really enjoyed this and found it in, and found it informative. See you later. Bye.